My name is Stephanie Beerworth and I am the editorial director for Crime and Thriller Publishing here at Michael Joseph Penguin. I got into crime and thriller publishing from the very early days. I've always loved uh, crime and thriller reading from my early teenage years. And then I got very lucky to be given a job as an editorial assistant and ended up staying in publishing. Crime is the biggest selling genre when you look at all the different genres that are published. Um, science fiction and fantasy, for example, is not as popular as crime publishing. Um, when you look at um, recent developments in, in ebook and digital publishing, um, it's quite interesting to see that crime is even more popular um, on e-readers than it is in print. The appeal of crime fiction reading is, uh, at least for me that's the case, and I think for most readers, um, the longing to solve a um, unique puzzle. And on the other side, um, it's also always interesting to visit the darker side of the human psyche. The different types of crime fiction um, are probably easiest divided into historical crime writing, then there is psychological thriller writing, there is uh, cozy crime fiction, then there is the more adventurous thriller and conspiracy uh, thriller writing. and. Um, yeah, you have a huge variety of, of crime fiction. The different styles in crime fiction uh, do definitely attract different types of readers, I would say. So traditionally you'd have a much more uh, male-based um, fan readership on the uh, action-adventure side. On the more cosy psychological uh, crime writing side, you probably have more female readers. Crime series are particularly popular because you revisit the characters um, again and again as you do with your most favourite TV series that you watch every evening. And in that respect, it sometimes almost doesn't matter so much about the story itself. You just want to meet that detective again. You want to find out about the love affair they've had in their last book and if the love story still lasts in the next episode. So from that point of view, crime series are very, very um, popular with most readers and certainly also for publishers because they sell really well. Crime fiction from around the world is getting more and more popular. Uh, reasons for that are the big uh, successes like Stieg Larsson, for example, which sold in millions and millions of copies all around the world. Um, at the same time, I think it's also people are opening up much more to um, different names, to different settings, to different ideas, atmospheres, and those are coming from different countries uh, in Europe and the whole world. The winning formula for a great thriller uh, to me consists of different things. There is uh, an atmospheric setting that is very important. Then. Uh, great and gripping characters that you want to follow on their journey while they're solving their individual mysteries. And then there's also the unique plot idea that is crucial uh, for most crime readers, it certainly is for me, um, especially as there are only so many uh, plot ideas around and they are being used again and again. And to find that one amazing, fresh new idea is very, very special. The next trends in crime fiction are always difficult to predict. Uh, I wish I had the winning formula, <laughs> but at the same time, um, I think there is a trend um, that we can all see from people moving away from the very gritty, bloodthirsty, dark thrillers to a more psychological thriller where it's all happening in the mind.